Hello. And welcome to another episode of Leilani Drinks the Brown Stuff. And I'm your host, Leilani. And we are at the Avocado Ranch. And again, another early evening. And I like these early evenings because I get to wear things like this <laughs> instead of me <being> freezing. <laughs> it's been cold out here lately. So another total wine purchase that I spoke about last week. And I'm like, Okay, cool name. So tonight we are getting into the fighting cock. <laughs> straight bourbon whiskey, straight bourbon. Yes, indeed, y'all, straight bourbon. And we know straight bourbon means the good, good. Cost me roughly $20 again. It was another $20 fine. Because you guys know I'm in search of my $20 goat. And this one? It's coming in hard. And yes, I said it and I'll say it again. This fighting cock is coming in hard at 103 proof. That makes it 51.5% ABV. It's been aged for 36 months. They're saying 36 months, which equals three years. Now their mash bill is corn. Yum. You know I love me some corn whiskey. Mmm. Barley and rye. All my favorites. Now. I do like wheat, but sometimes with the wheat, unless it's a weeded bourbon, like straight up lots of wheat, it tends to get lost in the mix. However, corn, one of my go-tos. I love, love, love me some corn. Now, it is aged, distilled, bottled. Where? Bardstown, Kentucky. We know what's in Bardstown. Only one of the biggest distilleries. Heaven Hill. Oh, <sighs> it's more of a miss for me in Heaven Hill, but I'm still excited to try this one because there seems to be some rough and tough and pullness with this one, with this fighting cock. I want to give this fighting cock a chance. <laughs> That's what I want to do. Now, Heaven Hill, even on their site and on a lot of the selling things, state that this whiskey is like aged for six years. It's not. It, it's, I mean, I wish. People would read the label because on the back, very tiny at the bottom of all this little consumer warning, surgeon, drink responsibly, uh, don't drink while pregnant stuff. It says age 36 months. So whatever those sites are telling you, I don't know. Maybe it's a different bottle, maybe a different batch, maybe a different expression, but it's not this one. It is aged for three years, y'all. That was all I could find out about this bottle of whiskey. So guys, like, Besides all that, look at this bottle. Because <laughs> if you look closely, I think it's like a, a peel-off sticker. <laughs> I mean, I get it. I mean, for $20, they're going to have to save somewhere. I'm, but it is 103 proof, so I'm not making fun fun, y'all. It's just funny. <laughs> now. I did find out that this whiskey supposedly is the thing of the South. Like it's supposed to be known there. If I'd seen it in Tennessee when I was doing the film, I would have bought this because for $20 at 103 proof, look at this. <laughs> it is worthy of Leilani drinks the brown stuff. <laughs> so let's see. And guys, if you know about this whiskey, if it's something popular, you know, especially in your state, please, Drop a comment, let me know, because I am dying out to find out more. All right, we can't know everything about all the whiskeys. Some of them are just indicative to your area and you guys need to share. All right, since I couldn't smell the cork, there's no cork, it was a crew top. <laughs> Let's get on. Woman's po, a woman's po, fighting cock, woman's po. <laughs> like the name though it's hilarious like <laughs> I want to know how and why and who put this together <laughs> all right floral which I wasn't expecting clean A little dirt y'all I feel like there's some smoky smokiness to this too besides a little bit of the orange zest Huh. Hmm. 
let's do this. And it's a nice rich color. 103, come on y'all. $20, you have to try it. At least from that standpoint. Now I'm gonna tell you if you really do need to try it. All right. <laughs> oh, the orange zest definitely comes through. <laughs> it is smooth as all get out. I'm gonna say that. It is nice and easy. But at 103, I'm expecting some richness and I didn't get that on the first sip. So let me take another sip. A little bit more of the caramel shine through at that moment. I do like the smell of it. It's not like biting, like I don't sniff it and it's burning up my nostrils, which some bourbons do, but this one's not doing it. But all I'm getting really is like the um, ethanol, uh, slight ethanol kind of feel and the orange zest. It's, that's what's playing on my palate right now. <laughs> but it's so simple and easy. <laughs> I mean, 20 bucks, 103 proof. But that orange zest, ah. Ah, I don't know. I just don't know. It's, I'm so confused on this one. Like most of the time when it's orange zest, it is just nasty and it pops and it's gross. This one, it's the orange zest, but it's really smooth, nice and easy. You get kind of that caramel, but not too sweet, just a hint of it. Um, and it just washes down so easy. It's so unfair. The orange zest. <laughs> All right. So Leilani drinks the brown stuff has to give this fighting cock two and a half kisses. Mm. So hold on. Oh my God. But it's so much better than some of the two and a half kisses I get. I can't give that to this because it would be unfair because there's certain beautiful properties that are just hitting my taste buds and this fighting cock is in my mouth fighting so Leilani drinks the brown stuff has to give this fighting cock straight bourbon whiskey three kisses why because it is really one of the <laughs> easiest 103 proof I have had a chance to taste I feel like for $20 at that price point, if it's something that you just need to have that's within your budget, this is actually it compared to all the store-bought ones. Now, yes, the orange zest is there and I'm hoping that it opens up, that's all. Um, but it is a very nice mouth feel. So if you're looking for a fighting cock, that puts up a good fight that might not be the heavyweight champion it might still give you a good run for your money cheers